up everybody, I'm Star Lord, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the Loki helmet in the new Roblox Halloween event. It's pretty easy to do and I hope that you guys will consider subscribing to the channel and even leaving a like on this video if it does help you out. Uh, but anyway guys, let's get into this very quick and easy tutorial. So basically, the first thing that we want to do is first find the game called Whatever Floats Your Boat and uh, this is a very popular game the last couple of months and it's super fun to actually play and uh, yeah if you guys are having trouble finding it on the actual Roblox uh, website itself there is a link in the description below just click it and join into the actual game. Uh, so the first thing that we want to do once we get inside of uh, whatever floats your boat is you want to create a fortified boat so that you can actually go and destroy other people's boats and if you guys just kind of watch exactly how I create the boat that I'm actually doing right now uh, using these individual like kind of boxes um, this is probably one of the easiest and best ways to create a boat and Honestly, people will have a hard time destroying it, and it'll be super easy to actually uh, kind of, you know, once it gets destroyed, if it does get destroyed, it'll be easy to kind of, um, I guess, repair, I think? Yeah, that's probably the best way to say this. Uh, but as you can see, I'm kind of placing all of these little crates around, and this is all strategic to me, personally. Like, honestly, once you do this, People are going to have a hard time trying to kill you in this thing. So yeah, just kind of follow exactly what I do. And eventually, you will have a boat just like I do. And you'll be ready to go and destroy other people's boats. And as you can see, here I am right here. And we need to destroy as many people's boats as we can, guys. Because we need to get around about 10,000... Um, I guess coins or something. I don't really know what this in-game currency is for this particular game I'm just gonna call it coins. So you need to get 10,000 and the way you do that is just kind of destroy other people uh, kill them destroy their boats and Especially once the game is actually complete or that round is complete uh, You will notice that these crates keep on falling down from the sky around the area And what if you you actually basically just run to them and open them up and you'll get around about two thousand dollars or two thousand coins or whatever out of them um Unfortunately, I actually never got any of them like people beat me to them because they're super fast like Sonic um, I need to get faster at this game. Honestly, it would have sped up this tutorial for me uh, But basically once you've actually done all of that and you have 10,000 coins go to the little eye tab on the crate screen and you'll see something called uh, The space challenge just this one right here. It's kind of like a blue kind of tesseract looking thing Not this one this for another guide uh, but basically this one right here what you're gonna do is purchase it and then place it onto your boat very easily just like so and it'll say do you want to play the space challenge just click on play and then we'll actually get teleported into a new kind of world and um, this is where it's very easy it honestly is this is the easiest part of the guy right now guys um but i know that some people will have some kind of difficulties with it but don't worry about it it's okay uh, so what i've done right here i've spawned on the uh, point a and it'll actually tell you that you've got a new flying werewolf crate and uh, what this does is if you place it onto your boat it will then send you up into the sky and you will float very very high uh, so what i did is i actually spawned in my boat just the one that you saw me create a couple of minutes ago the really awesome one that beat everybody else's boat because look at it look at my boat guys that is amazing um, and once we've spawned it in what we want to do is go to the i tab and you should see that we have the floating werewolf crate right here and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to place around about four or five of these around the boat um, you kind of have to be careful with where you're placing them because as you can see i'm trying to place them down but it's not working, so I would say just kind of place them onto the sides like I am right now, um, and it makes it kind of easier. And eventually, you should see that your uh, your actual boat should start kind of floating up in the air. And it's super simple, it's genuinely that simple. But, as with any kind of challenge, there is something that kind of makes it a little tiny bit difficult to do. And that is, if we look up in just a second, uh, we will see these kind of floating fireball kind of thingies floating in midair and um, these are kind of up here to kind of stop you from reaching the maximum height of 5,000 uh, kind of feet up into the air so basically what you have to do is as we're flying up here with our werewolf crates we need to kind of dodge these things now if you do have a seat 
on your boat, you can actually kind of float in midair and kind of fly away uh, and left, right and everything like that. But I decided to just kind of float up in midair uh, in the same position and kind of just keep on putting on the werewolf crates every time. Like, you know, each time one gets destroyed, I'll place another one and I'll kind of just kind of keep on... Uh, moving around to dodging these big fireball thingies and eventually it took me around about 10 minutes to do I finally unlocked the uh, Loki challenge it says it comes up with this big thing game congratulations you won the challenge well done and um, so basically that was it guys I actually unlocked the Loki helmet for my character to wear in Roblox uh, so basically what you want to do now guys is just click OK and um, you can either keep on playing destroy other people's boats if they get high up in the air or you can go back like I do right now and equip it onto my character so just go to my inventory and then you will see the closest one to you is the new Loki helm. Just go and edit avatar and there it is right there guys. Just equip it onto your head and look at that. Look how cool that is. That is amazing. Me personally, I am a huge Marvel fan as you can probably tell from the name Star-Lord. Um, but basically, yeah, it, it looks so awesome in the game. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, like I said, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, I mean Star-Lord. Oh, see ya.